The driver was ready to escort Colton and his entourage to the palace in style. A Mercedes Maybach was waiting to shuttle them to residence number 55, also known by locals as Central Luxury Mansion, the primary residence of the Supreme Leader, Kim Jong-un. Once inside the vehicle, Chung Cha shared the protocols required for each person worthy of meeting the leader. The road crew did not get the same speech, nor did they get to ride in the Maybach. They were in one of North Korea's finest from Pyongyang Motors. Do not speak unless the Supreme Leader speaks to you. No phones or cameras are allowed in the presence of the Supreme Leader. No heels or shoes with anything greater than one inch in the presence of the Supreme Leader. When you are in the room with the Supreme Leader, you cannot turn your back on him, so when leaving, you must walk backward. When they arrived at the palace, they were greeted by North Korea's cheerleaders, 200 young girls who've been handpicked based on specific stringent physical requirements, taller than 5 foot 3 inches, round face, large eyes, and clear, high voices. Kim Jong-un's wife was once a cheerleader. Kaya reminded Colton not to try to speak to the girls, you would be risking their lives if they talked to you. In 2006, 21 cheerleaders were sent to a prison camp for discussing their trip to South Korea after they returned home.